Bump bop. It's obviously fake, debunked Meghan Markle's most suspicious pregnancy. I even suspected that Harry is also complicit with her in the fake pregnancy. Now, let's explore with me. Very happy to welcome you back to my channel. Meghan had an official visit to Mayhew as a member of the royal family while pregnant with her son Archie in 2019. But during this visit, the Duchess of Lyre revealed her pregnant belly when wearing a tight ivory white dress. During this charity event, she continuously squatted to pet the dogs even though she was pregnant. She even wore high heels and still didn't feel any problem. So many questions are raised that she lied about her pregnancy. And wait, now I have a challenge for you. Strap around a 5-pound or even 10-pound bag of sugar to your stomach and try doing that in heels without assistance. It can't be done. Even if you manage to get down to get up again, you would need to drop your center of gravity back between your heels and push your bum out for balance and momentum so you could unfold your legs to stand. It's just the simple mechanics of the female body. It makes no difference how much yoga you do or how fit you are. A human body can only move in certain ways. And I assert that with a body as big as hers, there is no way a woman could do that. No way. To those who say Catherine did it, she didn't. She tried to squat down but suddenly there was a baby in the way. She only squatted halfway down before staggering slightly and standing up. When your sugar grows up and has children of her own, You'll know how impossible that is. There are some videos in super slow motion that I watch over and over again. You can see the actual stomach pop out. Watch the stomach, not the coat. When she interacts with animals, there's a pop. When her stomach is flat, then it pops back out round, and then she rushes to cover it with her hand. Watch the spot she covers with her hand right before she covers it. This is what convinced me when she stood up. I remember a relative of mine when heavily pregnant, I would need a hand to get up off the floor quickly at that stage. I could never bend over with my knees alone. Even bending your knees apart will be uncomfortable. When that pop sound happens, you can also see that it makes her coat move right at the area where it had been squished in, with the direction of that movement coming from her body, not towards her, like it would if the people who like to claim it is a door closing making that sound were correct. If she had ever been pregnant in her 40-plus years, she wouldn't have done the things she did that a pregnant woman can't do. Oh, the dark-skinned woman who was sitting next to her looked like she was questioning that pregnancy and watched her face. Next, let's take a look at Harry's actions and see if her precious husband is an accomplice to her fake pregnancy. Something that's possibly more telling than Megan wasn't pregnant than her behavior is Harry's. Whenever Megan did these close kneed squats in 4 inch heels while heavily pregnant, not once did Harry offer his arm to help her up, step beside and extend an arm around her for her to use him for balance while standing up, or do any sort of protective maneuver that you'd expect a loving husband father would do. Instead, he's always unconcerned and standing far away, usually by the photographers. To me, that's a gigantic tell that M wasn't pregnant. Even if he didn't care for her, he'd still care about the baby and thus wouldn't risk Megan hurting herself by allowing her to fall. You know, a similar thing happened in their mockumentary. When Megan was talking about the racist death threats she was allegedly receiving and started tearing up, Harry made no move to comfort her despite being right beside her on the couch. Either he's the most distant, cold-hearted husband, or what Megan was saying never happened. We know he's not distant in romantic relationships from everything he's doing years after the fact the lawsuits against the press because of the role the press played in running his relationship with Chelsea Davey. So again, I'm left to conclude that Megan is lying. That's why he's complicit in the deception. How can they live together and he doesn't know Megan is wearing a costume all that time? He may not know what a pregnant woman is really like, plus he's used to being dominated by Megan. Even his accounts of the birth of his daughter are suspiciously strange in his memoir. And not a single story of morning sickness, cravings, 
what it's like to feel your bump growing? We hear nothing of her pregnancy nor the children, but in the most generic terms. She would have milked every moment if she'd had real stories, but was content to just flick her coat and show the bump in the most prominent way possible. The optics were all she had. When the whole pregnancy and birth thing got weird by their actions, I thought I bet they've used a surrogate because she can't get pregnant. The thing is, if they weren't so focused on the line of succession, and if the children are by surrogate, they could have championed adoption or surrogacy, not that everyone is pro-surrogacy. This Mayhew story also harkens back to Meghan's time as a royal, building on Queen Camilla's now prominent work for animal charities. Harry made the merciful move to Charles' side so that he could portray himself as having a deep understanding of the king's illness in the award speech he gave in Las Vegas a few days ago. Days later and during the interview, he learned he would do so the following week in Whistler. Harry and Meghan tout their courtesy tour of the Squamish Lilwat Culture Center in Canada as holding talks about engagement with Canada's indigenous people, then release news gossip about Harry's readiness to return to official royal duties and his desire to be given a position as a member of the royal family, Commonwealth Viceroy. They are doing their best to consolidate their fading royal status by clinging to the real royals in every way possible. How about you? What do you think about Meghan's baby bump and Harry's alleged complicity? Even though photos of the Sussex children are now spread online, Harry and Meghan still keep them hidden. They don't give the kids the right to appear in public and I just feel sorry for those kids if they are real. Reflecting on the issues we have just discussed, I believe it opens up many fascinating perspectives and deepens our understanding. Your opinions are extremely valuable as they enrich our discussions and help us approach topics from many different angles. So, do you like the topic I brought you today? If so, type OK. And if you don't like it, that's OK. But please leave me a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and share this video. Your support is a strong motivation for us to continue to improve and provide deeper content. Thank you and I look forward to our next meeting. Take care!